so I want to help you to understand how it is that the vibration that is really what we are all about turns into the tangible which you call your real world how do these thoughts turn to things how does the vibration become the manifestation it comes through your interpretation it comes through your realization and we want you to understand that you're gonna see it when you believe it and then you want to say well then show it to us and we will and we want to say well then believe it and then we will and then you want to say well I don't believe it yet and we say then fine no no that's not how it goes we say keep it coming keep it coming keep it coming keep it coming because it is not possible if this time space reality has helped you to identify a desire as you're sifting and sorting this time space reality has the wherewithal for you to realize it in its fullest your desires are already vibrationally realized by your inner being who now is giving you clues about where you could be in your mind in your mood in your attitude so that you will realize where to go next what to say next in other words it's like breadcrumbs it really is and we want you to understand that it's like that your inner being is leaving these recognizable clues for you but you've got to be willing to accept that the clues are really good feeling emotions and you've got to be in the frequency where you can pick up on them you can't walk around in a bad mood and receive any of those clues so here's how it works source knows everything about you everything that you want and is rooting for you to get it and is offering a vibrational signal a very vivid very clear very high frequency very non-resistant vibrational signal when you're in the vicinity of it you are able to translate that signal into meaningful things so here's this vibration always being offered to you the question is are you in the receptive mode that is a key phrase here are you in the receptive mode are you able to translate that vibration into something that's meaningful so the first thing that you will translate it into if you are in the receptive mode is an idea will occur to you you know that feeling when you say ah oh, I just got the best idea that's what that is you were in the receptive mode so that idea comes and with that idea with that let's say it like it is with that you translating because you're in the receptive mode the vibration into a thought you realized it it was always being revealed to you in other words it's not you waiting around for the revelation the revelation is there all of your waking moments the revelation is there the question is are you in the receptive mode and the answer is mm, well we'll leave that to later so the answer is sometimes you are and sometimes you're not and the better you feel the more you are and the worse you feel the more you're not it really is that simple so here comes this thought this idea and right along with it so close with it that you think that it happens simultaneously you feel the emotion of it because the emotion of it is the indicator of the gap between the vibration of your thought and the vibration of the thought of the source within you so when you feel elation you're right there there's no gap you're right there and that's why you received that thought that's why that idea was so strong and unless you do something to add resistance to the idea you could stay on the wavelength of that idea and you could carry it out to its full fruition and you know that because you've done that on some occasions so the thoughts are turning to things the vibration is turning to thought now it's a thought the question is how long will that thought sustain how long will you hold the frequency of this great idea well the answer to that usually lies in how long will it take you to tell somebody else about it who doubts it because most of you start talking about your ideas before there is enough momentum in them so there's no evidence of them and it's so easy to talk yourself out of a really good idea before it has any vibrational momentum and you know why it doesn't have any vibrational momentum because you think about it but then you think about the absence of it you kill the momentum with the contradictory thought well cut that out if you would not do that if you could find some way to believe in your desires to believe in your ideas longer to hold the doubt at bay to replace the doubt with belief so what does that require that requires first of all knowing what we just told you knowing that it is a vibrational reality that will come to fruition but you've got to coax it along no 
it isn't that you've got to coax it along you're not the energy that makes it happen the energy that creates worlds is the energy that makes it happen you don't have to coax it along you just have to stop killing it you just have to be more optimistic which means in those early stages usually you want to be more general about it the more general you are the less likely you are to introduce resistance to the idea so here's this vibration that you are now translating into an idea so you want to do everything you can to keep that idea alive and if it begins to wane if it begins to peter out if it begins to lose its momentum if you begin to doubt it it's time for you in that moment to stop talking about it stop thinking about it because at that point the more you talk about it the more you introduce more of the contradictory energy to it you see what we're getting at so the creative process is three steps the first step is ask and life causes you to do that the contrast causes you to know what you want and you are vibrationally sending the request or the asking step two is source becomes the vibrational equivalent of what you've asked for lines up with it so powerfully and begins emitting a signal which law of attraction is responding to now that's important to know because as your inner being is offering a signal about all that you have become the new amended version of you that you added to just recently with this last negative experience that you had that caused you to want something more than you've ever wanted it before source lines up with that and is emitting a signal and think about what you know about law of attraction law of attraction is responding to that signal and because law of attraction is responding to that signal oh you're gonna love this we've never said this to you before because law of attraction is responding to that signal that's causing a momentum a path has opened up can you get the sense of that so now how does the resistance get on that path because you're emitting a signal too you're standing here and the reality that you call life having your opinions about it about the same subject that source has an opinion about a clear sure opinion calling you toward it but you've got an opinion that might not be going with the flow of it and that's what causes resistance to be upon the path because you get to think about things too you get to think about them you should think about them that's how you carved out the desire to begin with but the moment that you launched the rocket source became so on board with that rocket and is calling all cooperative components toward the fulfillment the culmination the full manifestation of what you have carved out the question is are you a cooperative component or are you still doubting are you still basing this upon things that you've lived before so there's that gap that vibrational variance between who you really are and who you're allowing yourself to be and understanding that gap which is evidenced to you by emotion is the only thing that you ever need to know about the creating of anything because it is our promise to you when you launched the rocket it became a vibrational reality and now you have every means available to you for you to become in the receptive mode so that you can translate that vibrational reality into the full fledged manifested see it hear it smell it taste it touch it reality and that friends is why you're here in these bodies you cannot get it wrong and you never get it done and the reason you can't get it wrong is because you never get it done doesn't matter where you stand where you stand is always causing you to ask for something more and the fact that you've asked for it means source has already found it and is calling you toward it and if you will care deeply we want to say singularly about how you feel if you will let that be your first priority then you're going to start having a very good time immediately and the evidence of your alignment is going to be apparent not just to you but to everyone who sees you